All right, guys, I'm getting frustrated, and I know I'm not just speaking for myself when I say that I'm so tired of people saying that Sheepcoin is, is dead, Sheepcoin is dying, uh, it's, a, it's a dead coin, it's a poop coin, whatever. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And I've been seeing these most outlandish things saying that Sheep is going to go to 0 0.0000, where it basically has zero value, and I'm making this video to explain to you guys why it's not going to zero and why that's not happening. The first thing I want to touch on is something that we can all do right now to ensure that sheep doesn't go down to zero. You guys ready? All you have to do is go down and smash that beautiful like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel to support my channel. It would really help out a lot and help me grow. But let's get into the real stuff and the real juice. Okay, so the overall market has pulled back. I'm sure all of you guys can see, no matter what you're in, whether you're in XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, SHIB, SafeMoon, whatever, everything right now is pulling back. So for people to say that, that SHIB is dying or all this bad news is making SHIB die, no, the reason why SHIB is going down is because the overall market is having a correction. We had a huge long bull run, so of course we're going to have some time to cool down and get ready for another one. This all started right around the time that Elon Musk went on Saturday Night Live when Bitcoin rallied a whole bunch coming up to the actual Saturday Night Live event. And then as usual in the stock market and just usually in markets, as the hype tends to draw things up and then as soon as the actual event or catalyst comes, it has a reaction because all of that hype was priced in and now that the event is over, people take their profits and it comes down. So that's basically what happened. But shortly after the Saturday Night Live skit, on top of it, like it wasn't good. They made a, they made fun of, of Doge and Doge was kind of like the, the butt end of the joke and it just wasn't very good for, for Doge or just crypto in general. Tesla, like a few days later, I want to say, actually announced that they were not accepting Bitcoin anymore because of how much fossil fuels they were burning and how much energy it took to actually mine Bitcoin. It's gotten ridiculous. And as soon as Tesla dropped Bitcoin, it literally killed Bitcoin and it started the crash of the entire market because the market moves together. I've said this before and I'll say it again. The market moves together. When the market grows up for Bitcoin and Ethereum, when those things are performing well, all the rest of the crypto is doing well too because they're like the leaders. They're the forerunners of, of everything that's going on right now. So as Bitcoin and all the leaders of the pack go up, it brings the rest with them because crypto is like a huge community is basically what it is. And the community goes up as the leaders go up. So that's why right now we're seeing a big dip because Dogecoin and Bitcoin have had huge drop-offs due to some news, which caused an overall thing. So really, did Elon Musk crash the crypto market? And on top of all that, if that wasn't enough, there's been an XRP lawsuit that has been going on for the longest period of time. And I'm sure you guys have heard about it, but if you haven't, I've posted a video and I plan to post another video kind of updating what's everything that's been going on with the lawsuit, where it's at, and what things are looking like for crypto as a whole and XRP, if that's just what it is. And with all of this heat on the market right now, not everybody has their oven mitts on. Not everybody has diamond hands. Not everybody can handle the pressure, okay? It's, it's just not for everybody, especially with a lot of people that are just now coming into crypto or just now becoming new investors where this new wave of young people and just all people really getting into investing by themselves. They're not used to all this pressure and all this red. So what are they doing? All that bad, bad news is leading to panic sellers, which causes more panic selling, which causes more panic selling. So really, if we would just stop panic selling and just relax and just hold and let the institutional investors and everybody do their thing and they want to bring the price down, they want to sell out to scare people, but we don't get scared. Now they're going to buy back in. It's going to push the price right back up. So really, we just need to relax, but it's okay. Because the more panic sellers that there are in the market, it's all good. You know why? Because it gives people like me and you, if you decide to be smart and have diamond hands, an opportunity to buy in even more at a cheaper price. I've been seeing some things talking about how they want Bitcoin to go down, go down to 25000 If you realize that if that happens, that all the rich people are going to buy up so much Doge, I mean not Dogecoin, Bitcoin, that is actually going to be ridiculous. Because the other thing is this. You gotta think about this. Just a month or two ago, people were buying Bitcoin at $60,000. So when they see it right now even, but if it drops down to 25, 
they're buying all in. Anyone who's been investing for a long time understands that having a bull run like what we've had is great and all, but we also really need these cooldowns. So these big pullbacks where we cool down from our year long freaking bull run is good. It's a good thing that we're seeing this pullback. It gives us another buying opportunity and another opportunity for other people to get involved because they were too late. I always said that I would never buy Bitcoin at 60,000. Even 25,000 or 30,000 is just so much because it just has so much room to fall. But at the same time, will it ever fall that low? I doubt it. But I just, I just can't think about spending $25,000 per token when I could spend a dollar per token on XRP. When I could spend a fraction of a penny on a, a coin like Sheeb. Or I could spend 50 cents or 30 cents on Dogecoin. Why would I spend so much money on something that doesn't have as much potential for growth? That's just my take. But also with all this red in the market, I want to remind you guys that feelings change. All this panic selling and everything that's been going on and all the news and negativity that we've been seeing in the market, they change. It passes. In, in life, you'll have these same situations where things feel like they just will never be over. But trust me, I'm recently getting through some things that I've been going through, which is why I haven't been as consistent, but I'm going to be consistent now. Um, feelings change. Your feelings, everyone else's feelings, feelings change. That's one thing that will always change. So whenever you're feeling like you're in a rut or you're confused or you don't know what to do or you're panicking, remind yourself that feelings change. Don't forget that. And when these feelings change, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all the leaders, like I said, I don't have to list them all, but all the leaders of the market is going to drive the entire market. I've shown another one. I'll put it up on the screen again. A screenshot showing exactly that so many different coins that do not involve themselves together have a similar pattern when it's up and when it's going down. The markets move together when it comes to cryptocurrencies like this. Stocks are similar industry based, like one industry is this or whatever, but it's like the entire cryptocurrency market moves together, not the entire stock market, just the stocks that are like in the same industry, they kind of move together, but it moves together. So what I'm saying is as soon as Bitcoin rebounds, because it will, she will follow. All the other coins will follow. If Doge it starts to push, the rest will follow. Just we need to see some good news and we're running out of bad news, guys. The worst things have happened over and over and over again. Like I listed before, we have the, the lawsuit, we have Tesla dropping um, Bitcoin, but also Elon Musk tweeted that he hasn't sold any of his Dogecoin and he's not going to. So you gotta understand that it's not all bad. Right now there's just a couple things that have kind of stacked on top of each other that has had a snowball effect on the market when it comes to panic sellers. And to conclude this video, I'm gonna talk about the catalyst that will push the market up. What's going to push the market up is the, is the SEC lawsuit coming to an end in favor of crypto or XRP, however you want to look at it. If, if it ends well for XRP, it ends well for the rest of the market. If it ends, ends bad for XRP, it ends bad for the rest of the market. So hopefully it ends well and that will launch it up very high. The performance of major cryptocurrencies will help the overall market, like I just said. If Tesla decides to use Doge instead of Bitcoin, like it said but in the past, that will be a huge catalyst for the market and push it up. So if Elon Musk wants to pull some strings and get Dogecoin to actually be accepted as a cryptocurrency uh, with Tesla to purchase their cars, that would be fantastic for the market. Another thing that would be absolutely great would be if Robinhood would to hurry up and expand the amount of cryptos that it has on their, uh, their platform because they are very common. They're the most user friendly and it, it would just give a bunch of exposure to all different types of cryptos and boost the overall market. And last but not least, you cannot forget about big Elon Musk dropping his amazing tweets that would help boost the market as well. And that's the last things that kind of would help push the market and make things, everything really go up. That's all for today's video. I appreciate you guys for all the support that I've been getting. Uh, there's still a bunch of people who are not subscribed to the channel, but that's mostly because I've just been getting a tremendous amount of views and I appreciate all the comments and the support. If you guys could please go down and smash the subscribe button, it'd really help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to invest every second of every day with a purpose. Peace.